They're playing Euphoria too. Oh man, they, I'm telling you, they going crazy. Kendrick knew exactly what he was doing. I'm telling you, especially with the horns. Da -da 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 -ba 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 -ba. Man, that's so easy, bro. Oh man, that's a chess move, man. For sure. Y'all see what's going on. Kendrick Lamar, not like us. HBCU marching bands and college football performances. And it won't stop, man. It's not going to stop. This is an anthem now. This is a fight chant. They're not like us. They screaming that shit in the stands, in halftime shows. The fans cheering it. They playing it during the halftime, like the breaks, the timeouts. You can't escape this. And that's one thing about Kendrick Lamar. He laid it out perfectly. Because unless you are truly from the culture, Drake couldn't even predict this shit. Because he's not, not, I mean, and that's one of the arguments that we've been having so much about the not like us. It's not about Drake not being black. It's not about being a part of the culture. Remember, I mean, he's not culturally one of us. He doesn't think like us. He doesn't vibrate like us. He doesn't want to be a part of us. He only wants to take. So he, if he truly was a part of the culture, if he truly understood the South and ATL, he would understood the HBCU. Like, and no one around Drake could even understand that. Hell, even if Drake did understand that, look at over your 40. Look at all them other Toronto niggas, man. They, come on, bro. And shout out ATL, man. Hey, the South coming through, man, for sure. But let's get into it, man. Dun, 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 dun. Drake is facing a tough college football <clears throat> season as Kendrick Lamar's diss track, Not Like Us, gains momentum across the country. The song, which took direct shots at Drake, has become a viral anthem that will likely dominate college marching band performances this fall, especially at HBCUs known for their spirited musical renditions. The rivalry between Drake and Kendrick escalated earlier this year, and now Kendrick's response has resonated deeply with fans. The first sign of what's to come was seen at an Atlanta Braves game where Alabama State's mighty marching Hornets delivered an electric performance of the track, hinting at the relentless wave of public taunting Drake might endure throughout the season. With Not Like Us set to be a soundtrack for many college football games, it seems like Drake will be forced to hear the song's lyrics, a direct insult to him, reverberating from the stands all season long. They playing Euphoria too. Oh man, they, I'm telling you, they going crazy. Kendrick knew exactly what he was doing. I'm telling you, especially with the horns. The dun 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 dun, ba, 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 ba. man, that's so easy, bro. Oh man, that's a chess move, man, for sure. Hey, y'all know I'm from Birmingham, man. You feel me? So that Miles College is like 10 minutes down the street from me. I love me a good marching band, dog. Hey, yo. Hey, you right. Right, Kendrick. Kendrick ain't said shit. And Kendrick ain't said nothing. You absolutely right. It's just compound interest at this point. 
Kendrick, he just held up a mirror. He just took the mask off. The people beating his ass now. Like, we jumping his ass now. Fuck a 20v1. Fuck a 20v1. It's everybody versus you now. Fuck that shit. Yeah. I told you, boy. And I forgot they be doing that, though. Like Kamala be doing this shit and not like us shit. God damn, even the politicians. It's over, man. That's a Kalani, ain't it? Baby, I don't want to be. know they got tired of this goddamn song every single martian fan was playing this shit all weekend i know they got tired of hearing this shit And that's what I love so much about HBCUs, man. You get you a good ass football game, and you get you a concert. You know, for a sh for a fact, we love to put us a, uh put on a show, man. We love us uh, some theater, man. We going crazy, hell, in football games and churches, graduations. We showing out. So yeah, you gotta show you gotta show up. Hey man, y'all get the gist, man. This is really pretty much just an entire compilation. But like I said, they've been going crazy all weekend, going stupid. So as you can see, that's been a incredible chess move by Kung Fu Kenny. He was bullied like what am I trying to say? Like a Disney Channel villain. Like he was bullied as a kid, and now he has this. One day I'll get you. I'll get you all type of bullshit. Like, I'll show them type of like, ah. He's a grown man, and he's taking this out on the world. And he can't really do shit to a man. He can't do shit to Pusher. Can't do shit to Kendrick, so he has no choice but to go after women. That's the reason why he has no choice but to go after Rihanna, Meg Thee Stallion. Goddamn, who else? Uh, Serena. All these women, bro. It's like, man. It, it just shows in his predatory nature. But hey, man, let's get into it. We got another video. Let's keep it rolling. Ain't too much going on with the Kendrick and Drake beef. Like, nothing special. Nothing not the blue. Exactly. He wasn't popular, man. And what, it, ain't, it wasn't even like 
because he was also on the grassy. So him being on the grassy, he maybe he was around his people. He got so much praise from his small group of people. He had this echo chamber. Then when I, when he went outside, he didn't get that response. So then he had to realize um, and go back to the lab and create this master plan to go from being Aubrey and he developed Drake. Yeah, he and he went and he developed and he turned himself into this this character of Drake, who's this smooth, finessing player who gets a lot of women, who gets a lot of money. Then he end up acting and method acting himself up into that actual person, and now he's stuck in character, and now he sold his soul and he sold who he uh, used to be, which was Aubrey, to become Drake, and he's lost himself in that. Exactly. Um. So like when he hits like exactly like foxy so like now that he has all the money he has all the power he won't listen to nothing because now it's almost like he truly believes that he's smarter than everybody so any type of advice he gets it's like how would you know because i'm drake i have the money i have the streams i'm the most streamed rapper in the world i have everything it's almost like he believes like cool you can read the books but you can't apply it you can't execute so he's going based off almost like almost like you you have to stop him he's gonna do what he wants you have to actually get up and just stop him you can't talk it to him like you can't talk with this man for sure exactly exactly Kupo. what and then uh like and like you said with the, the numbers the numbers absolutely will fade like the exact same way we see elvis like no one gives a damn about elvis i maybe know maybe one elvis song the kids don't give a damn about Elvis. The kids don't give a damn about R. Kelly. So they're so stuck in this mindset of fame and narcissistic supply that it's almost like a, a drug addict. They're so used to that temporary high that they constantly need to chase it. So each and every single concert is like, I don't want to say is as bad as doing heroin or meth, but it's doing a, a extremely high potent drug especially for a narcissist to get that much energy, that much supply. Oh man, you you will constantly, constantly uh, uh, go after that. So that's the reason why you see Drake constantly popping up at everybody's concert. Every single time he's popping up at each and every uh, body's concert, he's saying they're, they're his best friend. They're the best rapper he's ever been a part of. Like he called Rick Ross the best rapper. He called Lil Wayne the best rapper. You see, he's calling everybody around him best at whatever they do he's constantly love bombing he loves that shit hell even with the um doing the olympics how he uh he didn't want to mention lebron in the uh congratulations he mentioned kd he mentioned um steph curry i think he mentioned somebody else but yeah it's like and then especially like with the tattoos the Lil wayne tattoos the lebron tattoos it's like bro that's weird man that's weird, man. He has never been loved before. And I say this all the time. It's almost getting repetitive. It's more, exactly, it's bigger than music. That's the reason why I keep talking about it. Because this is just a discussion that we've been having for centuries, man. So, um, like, Drake and Kendrick are just the, the mediums that we're using to have these discussions that we've been having consistently. They just make it easily digestible to have these discussions. So we can easily look at the music and the lyrics to pick apart what we've been discussing in person right so that's the reason why i love art so much he also said he was a fascinated and then you see you saw those videos with um drake's dad groping and harassing that woman it's like and then even going back to the little yachty mr hotspot situation uh like drake he released all those other songs that were supposedly leaked or a part of the 100 gigs uh package but that mr uh hotspot song still has not been cleared mr hotspot he keeps giving drake an out just make the song clean just take out certain parts drake can't do that he's a 37 year old man and he refuses he has to talk about super soaking wet pussy he has like he needs that and he keeps thinking well maybe if i can just pay him maybe if i just give him uh attention some type of clout that's the reason why he's so defect the um he's he deflects all the time with the clout chasing like he's always say anyone who actually critiques him he always say well you're just chasing clout you're looking for numbers you're looking for money 
because that's what he's looking for. Like if you if you read the four agreements, you understand he's just projecting because that's all he wants. Attention. That's like what Kendrick said. Who the only one that loves being famous? So Mr. Hotspot does not want that shit. And he does not understand that. He doesn't understand social cues. And this just goes back to just people in power in general. A lot of these people who end up having these positions of power end up having these positions because they completely isolated themselves to become extremely great at one particular thing. And that's cool. They're amazing at one thing, but they forgot to become social. They're not socially intelligent at all. And if you're truly intelligent, you understand there's multiple different forms of intelligence. That's multiple different forms. So you can be extremely amazing at what you do, but you don't know how to communicate with other human beings. And when you have money and power, this is what happens. This is what happens, man.